Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wednesday, 9, 7, 16. I want to share uh, three things briefly in obedience uh, to the Holy Spirit, to the YouTube community. I had two separate visions, two nights in a row, and then a revelation. And so on Monday night, going into Tuesday morning, I had this vision. And this fireball, just like you're seeing, it was coming down out of the sky and it was swinging towards the right and it was heading towards us. And at first, I feared this fireball. It looked like it was gonna impact Earth and cause damage. It was huge and flaming. And I, and I heard the Holy Spirit saying, fear not. This is the consuming, cleansing fire before the rapture. And I had this instant revelation that all of these things that we feel we can do in our carnal flesh are, are nothing. Like after the vision, I thought, what could I possibly do to earn my way to heaven or, or work my way to heaven? And, and, and I suddenly felt like Jesus had done it all for me and I felt cleansed and purified and I was so happy. And I wasn't even gonna share that, you know, until last night, Tuesday night, going into Wednesday morning, I was laying there just reflecting on how peaceful God's word had, had, had made me feel in regards to you know, being purified and, and washed in his blood and, and being counted worthy to make the rapture by what he did and that nothing I could do. And I said, Lord, I'd like to see that again about the same time of the morning. And this time, it wasn't a glowing, flaming fire. This time, what I saw was more like a star or planet. And it wasn't going from left to right to come down and, and sweep people and purify them. It had a dark essence to it. And it was coming, and it was coming to damage the earth. And this one did put me in super alarm mode. And I felt like this, th this thing is going to strike and cause destruction. And so today I woke up and I was kind of not knowing how to explain like well, why the two different scenarios and I'm, I'm interested in your comments and thoughts what I felt like the Holy Spirit was was showing me that Jesus is coming but destruction is also coming and it's coming quickly and that so I'm sharing this in obedience after receiving this revelation let me know your thoughts on this you may get something. I always add like things like if it's traveling from the left, left to the right, the darker one that was coming down to judge and damage and destroy was coming straight down. And it really alarmed me. It really alarmed me with an urgency, that second one. The first one brought me peace. And today, while I was looking at that possible attempted assassination attempt on Putin I, I'm not sure I haven't read all the details or looked into it at all other than I Google Earth the area the Holy Spirit brought to remembrance a couple of things and again I want to present this as a warning he had showed me Mordecai twice and I was explaining just the other day in scripture how Mordecai was like a guard working on the gates and, and, and the, of the palace and and he had went and warned that there was an assassination attempt against the king. And then I remembered the, 
the objects in my dream when I was with Brother James. And there was a lion, an eagle. And a wolf. And the Lord was like, he was revealing to me. These were people or areas. And this is exactly what I feel and that I believe the Holy Spirit was warning me of in regards to that. He said, there will be more assassination attempts. And I felt led to, to pray for certain people that there'll be more assassination attempts. I heard the word Mordecai again. I'll get this uploaded. God bless you. I pray for everybody. We love you. We're constantly in prayer for you. Uh, I really have nothing further to add. Much love to everybody out there that's uh, still standing in this battle. Amen.